it's very much like an addiction. Basically, you are addicted to the trauma. You're addicted to the narcissist. Um, it happens with levels of hormones that happen in a cycle. So you do get this oxytocin boost right in the beginning when they're love bombing you, when they're telling you that they are your soulmate, that they love you, that they've never met anyone like you. You're the same person. You're everything they've ever wanted and needed. You know, they future fake this reality. Oh, they're going to be with you and they want to start this family with you and have this life with you. And it's going to be amazing. And you feel all of these love, these lovely cocktail of love hormones, right? You feel all this oxytocin. And then you might get some of that. You might get the living together. You might get the marriage. You might get the kids, but then they abuse you because they hate themselves. Deep down, they actually really hate themselves, right? They're, they're miserable people living miserable lives and they want you to be miserable too. So they're going to diminish all of your, your hopes and goals and dreams, right? You can't bring them good news. You can't, you can't even bring them any news. They're going to shut it down. You can't celebrate your birthday with a narcissist. They're going to make sure that you are suffering through your birthday because if you have any joy, they hate it, right? They're going to make you feel insecure because they're insecure, right? They project all their bad behavior onto you. They're going to make you feel worthless. They're going to make you feel, you know, by the end of my relationship, I was depressed. I was anxious. You know, I had a hard time eating, sleeping. So they're going to put you in a really bad mental state. And that's going to give you high levels of cortisol. That's a lot of stress hormone. And we're only supposed to have a bit of cortisol coursing through when we're about to like, you know, jump out of a plane or, you know, go, go on stage and do a speech or start something brand new that we're really anxious about. We're not supposed to have levels of cortisol coursing through our, our body at all hours of the day and night all the time we're not supposed to have that much stress but we're in a constant state of fight or flight because we have no idea what kind of person is going to walk through that door could it be Jekyll could it be Hyde right we have no idea we're constantly on edge exactly so when we're in this constant state of fight or flight it's extremely exhausting we need a break from that we need a period of calm so then what happens in the abuse cycle is we do get that period of calm right? We do get love bombing and we never know where it comes from. The narcissist be, could be cheating on you and having supplies somewhere else and they're all excited and they come back excited with you. They could be um, trying to keep you in the relationship because they realize that you're kind of going away and that you're starting to not put up with it and take your power back. So they're going to you know, tease you with breadcrumbs and try to keep you back in this relationship and, and you know, basically future fake again and say that things are going to get better. I promise I'm going to stop drinking. I promise I make all these false promises, but then also, you know, apologize for things that they did without any change behavior. Apologies are really just manipulation. So they're just manipulating you to keep you back in. But then we get this hit of more hormones, which is dopamine. Dopamine is responsible for our pleasure and reward. So when we get this intermittent reward, it tells our brain, hey, there's hope here. I can stay, right? And then we're back to the oxytocin, back to the love bombing again. And then over time, we're back to the stress hormone, the cortisol. And they are now abusing us all over again because it perpetuates 